Improvisation is so, so, so important. You can't just learn Herbie Hancock's keyboard solo note for note and think you're playing jazz. You're not. You have to be able to, like, you, you know, do it from your soul, from your, uh, your brain. Your mind and your body is in sync with one another. I went to University of Maryland, as many of you know, and then I went to the, uh, the jazz department because I wanted to play some jazz in college. And I auditioned and stuff, and they were like, okay, cool. I was a freshman, by the way. And they were like, okay, we need a, a keyboard player, pianist, for our graduate student jazz quartet. I think it was maybe four, maybe a quintet. They had a horn and a rhythm section, basically. Might have been a guitar there. But anyway, they needed a keyboard player. I was like, cool. I'll audition. You know, here's... here's uh, And they thought that was pretty cool. They put me in the more advanced jazz uh, group. Come to find out, not a single one of these guys, they were all decades older than me, not a single one of these guys was comfortable improvising. Let alone on the stage, they weren't comfortable improvising in the rehearsal studio. I was like, all right, I'm going to write a tune for y'all. It's in 7-4. It was kind of strange. But there was a part in there. Where you could put a sax solo over that easy. Or a drum solo. Or a guitar solo. I mean, I'm kind of improvising with my left hand as I do that. But these guys were like, no, 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 we're not comfortable. We're really not comfortable uh, doing a, like a solo. Like, can you like write it out for me? Can you like write what you want me to play? Like, I can't like just. They didn't want to do that. They said, hey, just, you know, write it out, write out the solo and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, this isn't jazz. This is not a jazz ensemble. And, you know, the, the issue is these guys kind of went too scientific, I think, with their approach to jazz. Tonight, we're kind of using it like a metaphor. Um, so that's kind of where I stand on improvisation. I think it's important. I think you can't go around claiming to be a jazz musician without having some kind of ability to do something like what I just did. And people are scared of it because they're scared of playing a wrong note. But it's like, if you're really comfortable with imp uh, improvisation, you can figure out how to make the wrong notes sound right. You could make it work. And so this is what we're talking about tonight. How, what is that process? How do you do it as a musician? How do you nail it down? How do you iron it out and actually get good at playing stuff that you've never played before without knowing what it's supposed to be beforehand? It's, a, it's, it's kind of a weird place uh, to be as a musician. <laughs> 